Hello everybody, I'm supposed to be a blessing. This is my reading for my fire signs. If you are Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries, this reading is for you. If you're new to my channel, please take a moment to like, subscribe, and even comment because I do read those and I will answer you back. That being said, fire signs, let's see what the tarot has for you today. Um, November 23rd, 2020. I see stability here. I see someone will be getting married or engaged i also see a new beginning i see doors and window of opportunity open up for you guys and i see that you're doing with exactly what you need to do in order to get to where you need to be hmm awesome okay so you have the wish card the star card you could be dealing with an aquarius here but i also see some things balancing out for you but you can go on and make a wish because things are working out in your favor even if it doesn't seem like it right now it will be okay here you are in your own energy. Look at you. Queen of Wands. God, anybody who knows tarot, just because it's a Queen of Wands, it could be either or, or both. So you're definitely in your own energy. You're passionate about what you're doing. See, I told you that you're cycling out of one thing, you're going into another. Mm hmm I also see here, you're planting some seeds that's definitely going to grow for you that hell the fuck no that's wrong i see you're talking out of one thing going to another and i also see that you it's all about giving as well as receiving with you guys okay you have a lot of things on your mind this card right here my ten of swords i always said this is my to hell and back card there's a lot of things on your mind mm -hmm. morning noon and night you came to sleep you still thinking well i hope you are shit <laughs> Anyway, um, it's going to become an ending to this situation. If somebody did stab somebody in the back, you're going to get the justice that you that, that you deserve for that. If somebody did stab you in the back. Mm -hmm. I see you working extremely hard and things working out in your favor. There's a partnership showing up here. Whether it's a love partnership or either, I think it has to do with your job. Because so I think that's mainly what you're focused on right about now. Your finances and things of that sort. Okay. There is an earth sign individual that's coming in. But I see that this is you and your own energy. Your focus. What I just said. Y'all, you focus on your finances. Didn't I just say that? I didn't even look at that card. Okay, so there's a partnership. And you're definitely focusing on your finances right about now. There's some seeds that you plant that's definitely going to grow. Um, you're going to see the prosperity come in for you. There's a water sign, a Scorpio Cancer Pisces coming in with an offer or a message for you. That's a page. So they always come in with messages. You've been isolated to yourself. You're thinking, you're analyzing, you know, going over things that have taken place, people in your life, trying to make some huge decisions. There's a sign individual that's coming in to make you an offer, though. Mm -hmm. I see you honing in your crap and your skin, doing what you need to do. You're doing lots of hard, hard work, and you're waiting to see, um, to reap your benefits, which is great. Knight of Wands, you have a fire sign. Another fire sign, Leo said to Aries, coming in toward you, that's coming in to make your offer, too. That's going to be very passionate. Two fire signs together can be very combustible. I see somebody wanting to get away from a situation. Somebody tired of somebody's bullshit. There is a Scorpio Cancer Pisces individual that's sitting and watching, thinking about, you know, if they want to make an offer or whatever, but they're there in the background. I also see here there's a whole lot of competition surrounding you guys, and you're walking away from people, places, and things that no longer serve you because you got to go to your next level. Everybody can't go on with you, you know what I'm saying? Walking away from this situation because it doesn't serve your purpose anymore. You're definitely manifesting a lot of good things. Hello. I like that. You're manifesting, asking the universe for what you want, and doing the work also to get it. That's a great thing. Um, some of you are at a crossroads in your life trying to make a decision about something you're unsure about right now. But I see Temperance, which is the Sagittarius card, which has been showing up in y'all reading for a very long time. It's going to come in and balance some things out for you. So don't worry about whatever it is. It's going to get balanced out because some of y'all are feeling trapped. You're trapped. You're feeling trapped in a situation. Whether you're trapped in a relationship or you're trapped in your mind in regard to the situation because you don't know exactly what to do. This Sagittarius card is, this. I'm saying Sagittarius because that's what it represents. But it's going to bring in the balance that you need. I also see you wearing your options in regard to um, 
I think this has to do with finances. So you're weighing your options. Should I do this or should I do that? Or should I combine it together? It's something like that is what I'm hearing. I also see you needing to make a head of hard decision in regard to a love versus relationship. In order to do so, you're going to have to take the blind for a love. Cost yourself to the universe so the answer can come in. It's already there. It may be hidden, but it's there. Hmm. Oh, somebody gonna do some fuck foul shit, and somebody trying to um steal something for you. But you know what you're gonna do? Mm-hmm. Do I have to say it, y'all? Put a foot in the ass, cause you're standing in your strength. This is a Leo card all day, every day. I'm a Leo. Hello. Put a foot in the ass and call it a day. You're gonna stand in your strength in regard to whatever this fuck foul shit is right here. They trying to steal something from you, or whatever. Because you see how this card is looking at the strength card? The strength card don't even have a can to wear because it already know. I'm going to hit your head on. I'm not turning around. I'm not turning around. I'm not going to run from it. I'm coming straight at your ass. You bring it to me, I'm going to bring it to you. That's right. Put it in their fucking life. It is what it is, y'all. Hope y'all enjoyed this reading. I'm going to hit the bottom of the deck. That is the, some of you are waiting for your ships to come in on the rise. And it's definitely going to come in. Mm-hmm. Hello. Let's see what else y'all got. You got the wish fulfillment card. So anything you're hoping and wishing for at this time, you definitely kept the fruition. All right now. And one more card. And this will be the ending of y'all reading for tonight. Oh, there's going to be some endings. You got to end some things. In order for new things to come in, you can't pile it in on the old. Out with the old and in with the new. Your life is transforming. You definitely could be dealing with a Scorpio here. But this talks about transformation. That's right, letting some shit in so that your new stuff can come in. That being said, y'all have a truly, truly blessed night. Please like and subscribe to my channel. And hit the bell notification button so you know when I upload videos. With that being said, I'm Miss Blessed. Y'all have a blessed day. Thank you.